Hi, and welcome to a tutorial about the SSL Nucleus. Now, before I start, I'd like you to subscribe and I'd like you to hit the notification bell. This is very important if you want to get more videos from me. So uh, let's jump straight into this. Now, this machine, I bought this uh, a year ago and uh, I'm not disappointed at all. I was looking at some other controllers like the uh, Icon and uh, the Behringer and even the Avid one. I looked at this and uh, I got a really good deal on this. It's the first version, the Nucleus 1, it's not Nucleus 2, but the only difference that the, the between that is that they've got a different sound card. This has got a USB sound card that I don't use, I don't need, I've got a sound card anyway. And so I bypassed that completely. And uh, they've changed this bit here. I um, can't remember what, exactly what they've done. And here I've linked up, at the back of this, I've linked up the actual SSL mic pre. So I've got an SSL mic pre in here, audio mic pre. And not, this is not the controller part, this is actually audio. So I can go in and out of this and have an SSL preamp sound, which is pretty cool for the price I paid for this, which was 2,000 euros. So that preamp, that mic pre in there is already worth, I don't know how much, just to have an SSL mic pre is pretty cool. So this is, quite straightforward as the layout usual your faders then you solo buttons select buttons where you can select your channel uh, you've got mute which is called cut which is mute and then uh, you've got this mid section here so here um, we have the out option and shift and control buttons so exactly like on the uh, computer so if I shut down the mixer then I can show you like out if I want to copy this down there right and then i can just do undo so the control there is at the undo that's already kind of configured then you've got control and option that brings up like my secondary tools stuff like that so these are exactly the same as on your computer then these bank and uh the channel here is really practical if you see here right here we've got these these little white bars here and these little orange bars here now these are the banks like so it's like these are the first eight banks here and the second eight banks there. So if I move that down, you can see that it does that, that goes up. So for example, if I open up my subtrack here, then this is useful if I wanna go down and back up again. And then you can select, say I wanna select this, this here on solo. It's easy to find it. And uh, then if I shut that back up, then this goes back to where it was before. And then you can, with the channel, you can go down just one at a time. So this will just descend down one at a time, but that doesn't move the actual track itself. It just shifts across like one or by a whole bank. If you want to go down a track, you just go like this, just up and down here. And then we've got this mode here. So you can just zoom in and out without farting about. That's really good. And then if you want to set, say here, with the jog wheel, all right, and you can just hold on to that and make it slower, more precise, or just quick. And then if you hold down loop, you can select the loop. And then you've got the loop coming in on and off there. And uh, here you've got the, uh, you've got your reg regular, you know, switches here to record the and all of that. And then you've got your save button, so we can save that. And uh, so we'd save that now. So there you go, save, and that's done. And then I can quit this here, just hit that and that will quit. I've programmed that to quit. Now all these here I've programmed using the software that comes with uh, Nucleus. As another thing I didn't tell you about this, when I bought this, uh, I got it from a guy from Corsica, uh, funny enough from a village that's not far from where my daughter lives, but I didn't know that that's where he was living. But anyway, he lived not, didn't know the guy, but he lives not too far from where she was. And a bit of a coincidence. And the guy never used it. He didn't know how to use it. So it was brand new. And he didn't even download the plug-in bundle that comes with it. So I had the card with the plug-in code on it. So I called up SSL in England and asked him, did he ever download these plugins? And he said, no, no, they've never been downloaded. So I got these plugins and I got the SSL compressor how cool is that and uh, I got the EQ as well 
that came with it these two plugins yeah the duendi plugin suite just a, a bonus that i got with it so that's the the main you know sort of layout of this the way this works so let's move on to the plugins uh there's several ways to call up plugins and we've got an eq and a plugin button here you can go eq straight into the eq and that will bring up your eq here and um then you can turn on play around with the uh parameters like that adjust stuff quite easily um you can flip as well so you can then do it directly as a as a fader movement uh so let's flip that back so that's um the way you can just access uh, the eq straight away let's go back to track so plugins there's several ways of doing this you can bring up the plugin like that and have all your plugins along here okay or as they show in the uh, tutorial on the SSL site, you have here the number here, and if you go up and down, this will bring up each plugin. Okay, so as you can see, each plugin is coming up. Or, which is not explained in the tutorial, if you just hit that twice, you've got all your plugins here. You can just bring up the sausage fattener. Go back, go back. So it depends how you want to do it, but uh, I kind of do it that way because it's, it's quicker when you're here and you select a track, uh, for example, and then you go plug in and you see what plugins are, where they are, and you can just hit them straight away without scrolling up and down. And uh, so it depends the way you want to do it, but that's I find that quicker. So um, going back to this perimeter here, uh, this when you hit this button it tells you what you're seeing here so you've got the volume so we've got this track selected here got the volume here and if you hit it again it shows you the actual amount of volume that you've got there then if you go back to show you what, it, what the perimeter is which is the volume you can then go here and it will scroll through the menu of what you have there so you have the end you have volume and at the beginning you have volume so there you can go to the pan and obviously you can just then hit pan and see that move here and if you go to the channel format if you hit the perimeter say mono or stereo so you can adjust the track the way you want it there it's really good and then just channel in channel out and uh, the automation mode and the track group which i don't know how to use it i haven't yet figured that out if anyone knows how to to to, to assign track groups uh, i'd like to know i might look into that and try and experiment to see if i can find out how that works i haven't found anything online so uh, if i do discover i'll let you know so anyway that's that's the um perimeters so if i go back up to volume where i leave it usually which is the first perimeter then i leave that i usually leave that on so i know what volume's there um, so that's really straightforward so if we want to insert a plugin say here on the fifth slot you just need to go to plugins right here and then you see one two three four five and then you can just choose any plugin you want hit the v pod and that will come up then of course you can change this and change any perimeter that you want quite easily and of course that goes for all the uh, all the plugins that are even the third party plugins if i come back up to say sausage fat no of course that works and if i go over to say um i think it was drums here i'll jump to drums like this is third party you can see that's working perfectly all the um perimeters come up here on the scribble strip so that's uh, uh something that's uh, very easy to do um then let's say let's look at some automation so for tracks go up, up here a bit um let's uh, do a shift on the bank or something like this so uh we'll go to maybe a base here and um let's uh, do some automation so if i just hit aut automation button that that will bring up these four mode choices for the automation so let's go hit latch so you can see on the track it's come up here so it's ready it's armed for um automation now 
We do, you take this off, that all that does is bring up the four choices of automation. Then you take that off. Now that's ready to automate. So I can do anything. I'll go to a plugin and select, say, um, I don't know, do something easy like the sausage fattener. And then all I've got to do is move this. And then, of course, you know, you can just move across and do that. Hit the color again. You know, stuff like that. Then um, we come out of this, go back to track to close the plugin down. Then you can go to automation, hit the read. So that goes back, so then it turns off the uh, automation. Then we just close the automation function switch. And then you can go to the A view, the automation view. And you can see here that we've got all the sausage fattener here. And... Um, the automation's been perfectly written and uh, that's a really good function because if you want to automate several tracks at the same time and you want to automate stuff it's uh it works exactly the same as in logic so we can come out of uh, the automation view like that now these user shortcut groups the way to do that is that you have to um, bring up the software that comes with the nucleus and here i've got my own preset configured already the default here you can actually program all these as well like i've done an undo on the send e i've already programmed an undo on that and i'll show you how to do that uh, for example if we go to the user one you can see it's only this side here so you've got the v pods and you've got these so when i press on the v pod that will delete something and obviously the mixer is just by pressing on that so if i want to change them say i want to change the click right click on that and then go key assign i can do something really easy here like um command z as well just to show you how that works so you go learn you have to have these two on first then you go learn command z learn again you come out you go okay okay now that goes to usb 16 as a default then rename that rename that as undo Okay, you hit OK, then it's renamed undo, but it hasn't come up here yet. It's still written click because you have to save and come out. Okay, now it's, you can see it's written undo. So if we go to logic and delete these, say, for example, just go delete and then undo the back again. So you see it's really easy to change. So I'm just going to change that back to click. So we just right click key assign then these two again first key modifier and follow key state go learn then i'm going to hit k on the keyboard for click k learn again then go ok then rename rename that click like it was before click 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 ok then save okay close this down and then now this has re become my click again. There you go, clicks back on. So you can see all these really useful shortcuts that I've done, uh, you know, bringing the mixer up and, you know, select all, just stuff that you use every day. So that's the, the way I do my user shortcuts. There is another thing as well about user shortcuts is make sure that you've got your, behind here, you've got the um, ethernet connection. So you've got, USB and the Ethernet connection both need to be connected. When you configure your logic with Nucleus, um, and I advise you to go to the SSL website and check out the tutorial, I'll put the link in to that. So, yeah, so there you have Nucleus, the way I use it and the way I've configured it so far. Uh, there's certain things I still haven't managed to figure out, but um, it's getting there slowly but surely. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy with it, and uh, I can't sort of work without it now. I'm, I'm used to sort of like, you know, playing around and having my hands on. And sometimes I find myself not even looking at the screen. I'm just like relying on what I'm doing here, which is which is positive. But it's taken me a while to really, after working with a mouse uh, for well over 20 years, 25 years. So, so yeah, there you have Nucleus SSL, which is SSL, Solid State Logic, of course, and that's a a reference in itself it's just a very solid machine like i said the only thing i find are the vus are, are not very representative of what's going on but i don't really use them anyway so there you have it 
back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will be back soon. Ciao.